I guess in this video, I am going to discuss what vulnerability assessment in Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio. So if you right click on database, here you go to task. Here you can find at here vulnerability assessment. So at here we can uh, scan for vulnerabilities or we can open exiting scan. So let's click there. And here this is the location where file going to save. Now hereafter click on OK. So add here vulnerability assessment result. So add here this is the server database name as scan time. And here or total high risk 4, medium 5 and here low risk 6. Total passing 6, 39 and here total failing add here 15. So add here this is the all add here or failed. So here this is the category and here risk and here it's displaying additional information. No, no here after if you click there, so here you can find minimum set principles should be granted to impact a database scope permission. Now here this is the status is the file and here this is the description. Every SQL server secure has permission associated and here this is the impact and here it's the rule query so this is the query now here if you click add here open in query so here this is the query now if you execute here it's a displaying permission class and here schema object permission principal type this all those things now here after like this if you click add here this option so add here you get name hi status description impact and here this is the query so at here this is the query select replace and here when and here from this database permission form and here this is the query here now if you execute this one so at here this is the schema core object code and here permission and here data principal and principal mdm admin so this is the way we can analyze at here at a high risk, medium risk, low risk by using vulnerability assessment. So at here if you click past, so this all are past. Now here failed. So at here let's cancel that. So this four are high and here after this the medium and here this is the low risk. And here if you click at here all members need for user defined here fair no baseline set and here name risk medium and here impact keep track on role members important to avoid granting excessive permission and here this is the query rule query here if you execute here you can find role and here member name so this is the main purpose of polynomial vulnerability assessment result risk result so at here it's a displaying at here total failed check past and here high risk low risk and medium risk on the database so at here see orphan rule so it's a low risk here you can find this the failed but at here low risk status come impact and here this the query and here you can check at here result by executing this query so name is unity mdm writer unity mdc cache reader so one time going to repeat by using all derivative assessment so it to describe security checks at here on catalog and here it described a description high low and medium risk on the database so i hope guys this video is helpful for you so now in this video it's over so thanks for watching see you next week thank you